So I came across the stat today, uh, which blew my mind because they've been playing NFL football for quite a long time. Michael Holly, uh, the Bucks were a minus three in turnover margin. Uh, they accumulated more than 100 yards in penalties and allowed 450 plus yards of total offense to the Cowboys, making them the first team in NFL history to ever win a game while doing a combination of those three things. At least a minus three in turnover margin, more than 100 yards in penalties, and allowing 450 or more yards of total offense. But when Tom Brady's got the ball, when you have Tom Brady, he's got the ball, and you got a chance, that's what's going to happen. So in the spirit of that stat I just gave you, uh, give me your biggest takeaway from last night's opener, which, by the way, rousing success for NBC, rousing success for uh, yes. the NFL, uh, up 16% yep. from last year, and it was the highest rated opener in five years. So it's a hell of a way to start the 2021 season. What's your biggest takeaway? First of all, uh, NFL. So the first time, I, I never thought I would see a, a first-time stat in 100 years, 101 years this year of, of NFL football. So that's pretty incredible. And my takeaway is something similar to what you said. Uh, you were very specific. You said if you got Tom Brady, you got a little time left, you got a chance to win a game. I'm going to say get yourself a quarterback. That's my takeaway in this NFL. Get a quarterback and you can win games. Now, there are always be exceptions, Mike. Some people are just listening for that exception. Well, hey, what about so and so? What about JoJo? What about Peanut? They weren't a great quarterback, and that team won the Super Bowl. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you, if I just scoop up not 101 years of, uh, of NFL history, but if I scoop up the last 30 years uh, in the NFL and I just kind of throw it out there on a the board, I think you're going to find some pretty excellent quarterbacks. But even more so in the last few years. Tom Brady, yeah, Tom Brady with the chance. But if, if Dak Prescott, Mike, had, oh, about 18 to 25 more seconds, I think we, we might be talking about a different result. What an incredible game. I think Dak Prescott was a story, um, with all due respect to Tom Brady. But that's just Tom Brady doing what Tom Brady does. Um, you know, should have had a better stat line than he had. 379, four touchdowns, two picks, neither of which was his fault. Uh, one on a drop by Leonard Fournette, the other on a Hail Mary, of course, but Brady was being Brady. And even at 44, I spent all day yesterday, we have spent all offseason extolling the virtues of Tom Brady. But I told you yesterday, Michael, that the least of my concerns going into that game last night on the part of the Dallas Cowboys was Dak Prescott. I knew Dak would be Dak this season. I knew Dak would probably be Dak last night. I know Rodney Harrison disagreed with me because he hadn't seen him play in the preseason. He was coming off 11 months absence. Uh, thanks to that devastating injury, but I was confident that Dak would be fine. Emphasis on fine. Okay, he was going against a pretty damn good defense, albeit a defense that was depleted on the back end. Going against a pretty damn good Still. defense, first game in a season, and he was in midseason form, as in midseason 2020 form, pre-injury, when he yeah. was throwing for 400 yards a game. And I don't know if it was because, I don't know if it was because mm. they referenced this game last night, um, and and they said uh, they, they flashed back to 2002. You and I were at this game 2002 opening game uh, at Gillette Stadium first game ever at Gillette yep. Stadium Patriots coming off the Super Bowl win against the Rams versus then your boy Bill Cowers Steelers so Patriots Steelers 2002 yeah. in the previous year Tom Brady had won the Super Bowl at the time he was the poster child for you don't need a great quarterback to win the Super Bowl, right? He was right. the latest right. in a right. long right. line of such quarterbacks, right? They had Trent Dilfer the year before, I believe, if my memory serves, and then Tom Brady uh, won the Super Bowl. That's you right. don't need a great quarterback. You just need a good team around him, right? We didn't know what Brady was going to become. Mm -hmm. So Brady goes out, that. Yep. and that first game, they look like a college team. Spread offense. Yep. Spread them out. Brady slinging Spread that thing out. around against the Steelers. And the game plan was look why are we running against Casey Hampton and the Pittsburgh Steelers front when we could attack their secondary and let Brady sling this thing around and make decisions. So I kept harkening back to that game last night when the Cowboys great game plan by Kellen Moore and it almost worked. We're like, wait a minute. Why would we we got Zeke and we got an offensive line, albeit minus Zach Martin. We got an offensive line, but why would we run up against a brick wall? That is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers run defense. We got Dak Prescott. We got these great wide receivers. 
Let's put 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 the ball in the hands of Dak and let him do his thing. And Dak was so poised in both his decision making and in the face of Todd Bowles' blitz. Again, I was I, he was the least of my concerns going into this game. But Dak Prescott needs to be everybody else's concern in the NFL because the rest of the season, God willing, he's healthy again throughout the rest of the year. He's going to be a problem. He even said after the game yeah. last night, I'm better than I was when I left. So what we saw last night was right. the greatest quarterback of all time do goat things. And we also saw Dak Prescott. I don't know where you had him, Michael. I don't know where most people had him. I don't know how people viewed him going into last night. But I think we saw a preview of things to come where Dak Prescott is about to force his way into the conversation. A lot of people going into this season like, oh, Josh Allen, you know, he might be the next superstar. He might be a top five guy. Uh, Justin Herbert on the cover of magazines. He might be a top 10 type guy. Dak Prescott last night, and even there were some people that felt like he wasn't worth the money. Or, they, you know, the Cowboys had no choice but to pay him. They were reluctantly paying him all the money that they're paying him. Okay? That dude last night announced his presence with authority at the meeting for, I ain't used this word in a long time, elite, upper echelon, top three, five quarterbacks in the NFL. If, if you don't already have Dak Prescott in that conversation now, I know he hasn't won anything. I know he hasn't won a championship. I know he hasn't won playoff games. I got it, okay? But if you don't have him in that conversation, you better rethink that conversation and by the end of the year, That's right. you for damn sure will. And all I could go to bed thinking about last night was, damn it, I knew I wanted him on my fantasy team, but somebody picked him to pick before <laughs> me. I was like, dang, damn it. All, all the so I'm telling you, so the so, story for me last night was Dak Prescott. Far and away. If, I, if we were in the press box and we were divvying up who's going to write about what, I'd be begging to write about Dak Prescott. All Amazing right, first comeback. First of all, before we get to that, before we get to that, all right, so they took Dak Prescott before you. Who'd you wind up taking? Do you remember? Brady. Yeah. Oh, you took Brady. Brady. Okay. All right. All right. So you mm -hmm. uh, all right. So right there, you had you had last night. You had uh, Prescott on one side. Brady. Yeah, I made that all right. Look. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, Don't get it twisted. I know what I'm doing, but I mean, I wanted I hey, wanted man. Dak because I knew I knew Dak would ball this year. Didn't know he would hit the ground running that fast. No lies told about Dak Prescott, but it's interesting that you say that. Uh, hey, and I remember that game very well. That game at Gillette Stadium, first game, 2002. Um, and by the way, Gillette Stadium already outdated. <laughs> it ain't even 20 years old, sure. and, and you see you see some of these stadiums now. Uh, but like, you look at in L.A. Look at the stadium in L.A. And you look at Gillette Stadium. It's like uh, HD HD TV versus you know the old stuff that you grew up with. Anyway. Um, it's funny that you say that about Prescott put the ball in his hands. Hey, why run the ball? Why run into a brick wall? Now it's not called a second guess. If you say it in the moment, I swear to you, Mike, I can tell you where I was when I said this last night. Love to get your opinion on it. I want to talk to sister Ashley Nicole Moss, big Cowboys fan when she comes on about this too. All right. I was at the studio Boston sports tonight. Uh, doing work last night, watching the game, and it's fourth down. And it's a 47 yard field goal attempt coming up. It's about 90 seconds, give or take, left in the game. The Buccaneers have one timeout. Tom Brady has sliced them up all day, giving them roughly two, two and a half points per minute in that game. I mean, like they, their time of possession was not that big. He was just, when they, he was going out there, he was efficient. They get the ball, they score. Um, so I said, why are they going for a field goal? If you're Mike McCarthy, not about, I'm not being, I'm not talking about the embattled Mike McCarthy, all this stuff. I'm not saying that. You got a feel for the game. You got to have a feel for the game. You're the head coach. You got Dak Prescott. They haven't stopped him. You haven't stopped their guy. It's fourth down. Let's go. Because if you kick this field goal, two things can happen. One, you make it, you go up by a point. So what? You go up by a point. I knew what was going to happen when it went up by a point with 90 seconds left and Tom Brady with the ball. All he needed was a field goal. I knew he was going to get it. There was no drama at all. You're yeah. either going to miss the field goal or make it. Now, you go for it. All right. You don't get it, but if you go for it and you pick up that first down and you score a touchdown, you're probably going to win the game. I just think overall, and, and this is this is not just a football point. It's not a Mike McCarthy. 
Uh, I, I'm about to bash him. No, this is bigger than this, man. This is a grown. <clears throat> this is this is a grown folks. This is a grown folks conversation for me. I, I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about for me. Okay. My wife said to me. My wife said to me earlier today. Different context. Um, not as exciting as you think, though. <laughs> uh, different context. She said, "What's gotten into you?" I said, "You know, I'm just tired of the ordinary." I'm just tired of just piecing things together and oh, you know, it'll work out mm -hmm. if we just kind of scratch this here and scratch that there and, and do it with some duct tape mm -hmm. here. We can we can make it on a wing and a prayer. I mean, that's great. That was part of my story growing up. That was part of your wisdom. story, but I'm tired of that. You want something different. I'm tired of you want to be original. You want to okay. be bold. Go for it. All right. They missed the opportunity. So you feel Interesting me? Interesting take. I don't. Really? No, not at all. Okay. I, I, right. I appreciate okay. you. Okay. I appreciate you thinking out that. I, I sincerely appreciate you thinking outside the box. All right. And I definitely appreciate okay. your passion and your conviction. Um, people aren't punting as much. Uh, I read an article the other day that the number of punts last year was down significantly. I'm not sure if it was a record low or not. Yeah. Don't don't quote me on that. But people aren't punting as much. Uh -huh. The analytics community. Uh, much to his delight, people are going for it on fourth down more. Uh, people yep, are going yep, for yep. two more. People are more aggressive yep. in general. Um, and there are watchdogs to be certain that old school coaches aren't kicking field goals, you know, inside the five or, you know, or, or, or punting on fourth down from midfield. You know what I mean? Like we, we've evolved. Right. We've evolved. Right, right. So I, I, I like your thinking. I do. But in that set of circumstances, and I, and I believe you said it in the moment because you knew how the movie was going to end. So I believe that you actually yeah. did say that in that moment. Because again, it was, was Brady, it, uh, Mike, was it fourth you and got six? Brady. It was fourth, was and, it fourth six. and six. It was four, I just was looking out. That's, right, that's what I was looking up. I was looking up to make sure I knew the down out? and distance. It was because of how many timeouts did, did you were right? The Bucks had one. I know the Bucks Dallas had How many did Dallas have? Did Dallas have any timeouts left? Two. Uh, no. Well, they, well, after the ten yard completion on third and sixteen to Cooper, they took their second timeout. Bruh. So Dallas had one timeout left. Okay. The oh, Bucks had only one. one. Okay. Remember, they All had right. to use All it. Right. Okay. But the Bucks right. had one because they had to, and they used it on the runoff uh, for the false yeah. start. So they had one Which left. Which I also okay? disagree with, but that. But it was fourth that and six. Out. That worked out. It it was fourth and six because the penalty. On on Williams uh, made it a third and sixteen, but here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. What you're describing mm -hmm. on fourth and six, a forty-eight yard field goal attempt. When you have a Greg Zerline who look, if he'd have missed it, I don't know how many people are saying what you're saying today. I don't know how many people are saying I, that they should not have given the ball back to Brady down one. With the timeout, I, know, I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't read. Maybe, I know. I didn't read everything that was written today. Maybe it's a common yeah. take, but I'm, I'm. I'm only focused on what you're saying. If Zerline would have missed it, oh, everybody would be. Everybody would be Friday morning quarterbacking this thing, saying you should not have I trusted a kicker who had been struggling all night. So thankfully, he at least made the field goal. That's number one. Yeah, yeah. But what you're describing, yeah. Michael, the, the the what you're describing is not going for two on the last play of the game to win the game versus playing for overtime. What you're describing is right. not going for it on fourth and one. What you're describing is not even Belichick in Indianapolis going for it on fourth down in his own territory. It's better. Yeah, like, this is better scenario you, what, than that one. The, it might be. I mean, but but what you're describing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, is it was at his own 27 yard line. Belichick it, was it's at his own 27. It, but what, what what you're describing is akin to walking Barry Bonds, walking walking Barry Bonds with the bases loaded to tie the game. <laughs> like you rather you rather the game be tied than let Barry Bonds drive in the winning run back it like it like what you're talking about is beyond unconventional. I hear what you're saying and it turned out the way wow. most people who watched Tom Brady for 20 years thought it would turn out. But in that situation, you have to kick that field goal because you're you trailing nothing. 
it'd be one. It, it, if they were up one and kicked a field goal, it, it, let me let, let me lay it out for you. If they were up ahead, one go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, or go ahead. two and kicked a field goal. No, that's not even right. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the right the, the right scenario. Bear with me for a second. All right. What are you talking about? Are you talking about analytics? If, are you talking about like analytically? The, no, the, no, no, no. I'm just talking about the it? I'm talking about I'm talking about the right scenario to go. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this in real time. I'm talking about the right scenario. Okay. That would have made sense for Mike McCarthy to go for it as opposed to kicking a field goal. You know, like okay. if a field goal would have made no difference, they're trailing in that situation. In they don't have the luxury of saying, you know what? Right. We're going to go for it versus kicking the field goal to put us ahead because Michael, you don't listen. They've taken the ball away uh, four times. Brady may be, you know, infallible. Right. Brady may be perfect 99% of the time, but you don't know your defense has been playing well. You don't know whether or not your defense will make a play. You trust your defense in that situation. They may okay. make a stop. They may get a turnover. You know, Fournette may fumble. He may drop another pass and it may be tipped and intercepted. Yeah. Hell, we just showed sure. Trayvon Diggs okay. nearly had an interception or nearly got his hands that on the ball great. when Mike Evans was behind him. So point being, if you're Mike McCarthy, I, I wish I could kind of come up with the exact scenario. I couldn't do it quick enough and it'd be worse TV if I if That's I tried right. to figure out the exact scenario. That's okay. I hear what it's you're saying and certain We're situations call for that. In this in this instance, in this instance, you're trailing by one. It's fourth and six. You kick the field goal and believe that your defense will find a way to stop Tom Brady or their kicker will miss the field goal, but you're trailing. You can't afford to say, you know what? We don't want Brady to get the ball back. If you had the lead, that's one thing. If, basically, if they had the lead, if they had the lead and went for it, I got you because yeah. you're going to lose by right. a field goal, so you don't just kick the field goal. They didn't. They weren't leading. You got to kick that. You got to kick it. That's what I'm okay. getting. You got to kick it. Let me, got let me, to. Okay, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I, I want you to a answer two things honestly. Just honestly. Well, one thing honestly. When they kicked the field goal, because I'll, I'll admit, I, I, look, I'll tell you everything. I, I, I didn't. I, shockingly, I didn't put any money on the game. I, you know, so I was just enjoying it. I was enjoying the broadcast. I was having a good time. Uh, if, if Tampa won, fine. If Dallas won, fine. I just, I thought it was such an entertaining game. You didn't have a dog I in the fight. Thoroughly enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, uh, even though I was working close to midnight last night. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway. Um, when they made that field goal, which I thought they were going to miss, I said, he's going to miss it because he was a little shaky. He was a little shaky last night, Zerline was. When they made that field goal, what did you think was going to happen? Like, did, was there any relief? Oh, I knew it was going to happen. And great job. There was great no doubt. Great job by NBC. There was no doubt. They showed the reaction. There was you no know, doubt. I saw, I saw Mike McCarthy get one of these. One of these. And Dak Prescott. There was no doubt. He said, there was no doubt. Mike, like, Mike that, that's why I appreciate your thinking. I appreciate what you're saying, and that's why I believe that you did say it in the moment. I believe you. Yes. And I'm sure you weren't alone. I'm sure you weren't alone that, man, Brady about this is about to bite them in the ass because Brady getting the ball back with right. a minute plus to go and a timeout, all he needs is a field goal. He can do that in his sleep. So I hear you, but if you're Mike McCarthy, you can't make that assumption and go for it on fourth and six when you're in field goal range while Greg Zerline was struggling. He's still Greg Zerline. Okay, you have a makeable field goal. You have to get the lead in that situation. You can't play to yeah. not. You can't be that afraid of Brady. Brady strikes fear in your heart, but not so much to where I'm gonna be stupid. Like you got to You got to take the go. points there. See, you know what you got to do. You got to do. Hey, you got to You got to uh, borrow from the best. You got to borrow from the best. Then by the way, you still got to score. You got hold on Mike. You got you still you got to score. It. Don't forget. Sure, Don't forget. You sure. still got to score. But so even if they convert on on fourth and six, maybe. you either you're Ooh, running maybe. out more time. You're running out more yeah, time, yeah, 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 but yeah, you yeah, still yeah, have right, to make right. a field goal. You you got to make a field goal or or so you have an maybe, opportunity to make a field uh, goal now. So well, or later, it's better for you. You're, Pick there's up the a step in between that you're assuming is going to happen. I don't Mike, know. this I is don't what know. you got to do. This is what you got to do. You got to borrow. If you're Mike McCarthy, borrow from the best. Now that I, I'm glad you referenced that fourth and two game in Indianapolis. I thought Bill Belichick was out of his mind. I thought he was out of his mind for doing that. Everybody and did. so did I think it was hilarious. 
because two of his biggest critics that night, it was 2009, right? I think Rodney Harrison had just started doing Sunday Night Football. <laughs> so Rodney Harrison, familiar. fresh, fresh out of the familiar. Patriots locker room, fresh out of the Patriots locker room, yeah. rips Bill Belichick up and down. You gotta kick that field goal. Like, what does Bill Belichick do? And then uh, of another net, another network, <clears throat> fresh off the Patriots a year earlier, Teddy Bruschi rips Bill Belichick up and down. You gotta kick the football. But one of the things yeah, that Belichick yeah. did, yeah, 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 you gotta punt. Yeah, you, you gotta punt. It. Kick it. Same thing. You gotta kick it away, not kick the field goal. Um, one of the things that Belichick did, you if you remember, they were filming a football life at that time. But it didn't play until two years later. So two years later, we found out what Belichick said to his team. This is brilliant. He uses the words of of his former players, Rodney Harrison and and uh, Teddy Bruce. And he says, hey, I hear all these people saying I don't have confidence in you. I have. I do have confidence in you. That's why I did it. One thing I'm not. And I'm not scared. You should I'm know this scared. about me right yeah. now. I got I got confidence I against I, I got confidence in all of you guys. So he framed it. It was really stupid what he did, but he mm -hmm. framed it to make it sound like, oh, I did something for right. you. Just as Mike McCarthy, right. you start off the show talking about Dak Prescott being the story and he is better than he was. You don't Mike McCarthy you say, I'm not scared of Tom Brady. I just believe in Dak Prescott. That's why I did what he did because that's why I did what I did. They didn't stop him all Prime night. You want. That's why he almost Prime threw the ball 60 okay, times. Wait, wait. I think you pick, you pick up a first down. You pick up a first down. believe in his defense. You're in great shape. I, 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 you're in great shape. You're, you're assuming too much. You kick the field goal. You kick the field goal 10 yeah. times out of 10. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.